Welcome to this tutorial about the Piano Keys package in which we're going to show you first how it works. So, whenever you start the game, you will be able to press different notes of the piano as I'm showing. And generate a melody. In this case, the Detonic song. Okay, and the score will be updated in function of what you you player does in the game. So let's just explain how this works. First of all, we have the piano game object. The piano game object is composed, as you can see here in the top of the uh, video, by different elements that contains audio sources. Each of the audio sources contains the different sound of the of the tone. So if you go to project and you go to audio and then you have the different tones, you will be able to play the different sounds of the, the notes, as you can see here. So each of those um, buttons, because they are all buttons, have a script attached to them that is called the piano note, in which whenever uh, the player hits on the different keys, the sound is going to be uh, emitted by the, the audio source. So that's how the thing works at the beginning. Then we have a script, which is the piano note as well, which simulates the key pressing, as you can see. Whenever you press a key, the different uh, keys are going to move in, in the, uh, from top from, to bottom and then they are going to get to the initial position. So that is also managed by that, that script. So let's open it and show it to you. Okay, so it's here. Uh, piano note. So we have um, the pressing key uh, part, that is this one here, in which we are using a sinusoid function, as you can see here. And uh, in fact, what it does is uh, it generates a coroutine that is going to move the key from the top from um, to the bottom of of, uh, of a distance, and uh, it's going to simulate that movement of the key. At the same time, you can see that the play tone has that audio play uh, inside, and also we have another function that is the check note position. So the check note position is going to generate a linear interpolation uh, between the position of the note. In this case, the note is here, okay? So it's going to generate a, a linear uh, interpolation between the position and the green line. So that is managed by this part of the code here, the check note position. So as you can see, uh, first of all, we get the component that is the note, then we check the note accordingly to the name of the different keys and finally we destroy the game object whenever uh, it, the parameters are uh, set properly okay so that is going to generate this function here this event okay so it's going also to uh, create um, the particle effect with the stars whenever the player hits the correct note of the of the melody okay the next thing is uh, let's talk about how um, how the different keys are also uh, labeled so you have the keys from do to do but in fact, it's uh, the DO uh, third register to the DO fifth regi register. So you have it there, you have the DO three, RE three, and you can go ahead and um, get to uh, the DO five here, the fifth register. So that's the, uh, the different sounds you have in, in tones. And if you go to the semitones, you have also from uh, the the uh, do s to the li s, which are the the black 
um, keys here, which are the semitones between Do and Re, and me and, and Re and me. So that's all regarding that part, and let's check another script to show you how the note is managed. So um, what we are doing here is just moving the uh, note from top to bottom using a speed, a speed uh, variable, which is set to a public float. And uh, then it has that um, name uh, string, which is also compared in this part of the of the script with the the name of the key so each key has a name as you can see here do 3 etc and the note has also a name so whenever the note uh, let's let's just play it to show you how it works so whenever the note um, it's also given a name in this case it's fa3 and you press the fa3 button is going to make it disappear. So it's what is happening here whenever I press the melody. Okay. So that's all regarding this um, advanced piano game. I hope you like it. I hope you consider downloading it and supporting our our, our work. And uh, keep up uh, tuned to our channel because we will start updating our packages really soon and uploading new stuff. So thanks really much.